Chop up right here with your girl Erin Rain Man, and it's about that time. Chat trap talking about what's hitting headlines today. Young Blue and Chris Brown right there with Battis. Right now, letting you know that Chat Trap is a brain brought to you by the Village Drug and Beauty Supply and Village Auto Parts. And have no fear, the Village Auto Parts is here. They have coaster bus parts, clutch discs, starters, alternators, tail lamps, brake rotors, American and Japanese vehicle parts. Only at the Village Hardware Store located at Alexandria Boulevard, Nassau Village. You can call them today and let the Village Auto Parts find that part for you. 601-4746, 601-4752, a WhatsApp at 525-9159. So let's dive right into it. So after nearly a month of no tropical activity over the Atlantic Ocean, as the peak season approaches, the Atlantic hurricane season is definitely active. And a third tropical storm system, um, Tropical Storm Henry, developed late yesterday near Bermuda, joining Fred and Grace. And Henry was initially a tropical depression that developed on Sunday, but continued to strengthen to become the eighth named storm of the 2021 hurricane season. So Tropical Storm Watch was in effect for Bermuda yesterday as Henry was located 130 miles south, southeast of Bermuda with maximum sustained winds now up to 50 miles per hour. But Tropical Storm Henry is forecast to take a curved path around Bermuda and it is likely to strengthen and become better organized as it does so. So also what's happening right now, they're saying that parts of Hispaniola are still feeling Tropical Storm Grace's flooding rains um, this morning as the system nears Jamaica. And the storm is continuing to reorganize and has gained maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour with higher gusts, according to the Hurricane Center. And Grace was about 165 miles east of you know, Montego Bay, Jamaica, and about 385 miles east of Grand Cayman. So just seeing that everything right now, what's going on, you just want to reach out to family members, friends in Jamaica, Grand Cayman, um, and yeah, just to these different places in Mexico, as well as, you know, Bermuda, just to check up on them to make sure that they are doing okay. Because nonetheless, we are, are kind of affected during this hurricane season, seeing that we are so um, tight knit. So I'm just saying you want to check up on them to make sure that they are doing okay and to make sure that, you know, family and friends do stay prepared during this time until the end of hurricane season, which is November 30th. So, of course, as you know, we are getting to that back to school time, which some kids are ready. I've started going back to school. But before returning to school, would you allow your child to receive the vaccine? So California became the first state that is demanding that teachers and all st- all school staff working on campuses be vaccinated for COVID-19 or be tested regularly. And a lot of persons probably wasn't agreeing with this because, you know, a lot of individuals still don't want to get vaccinated. And Florida may possibly decide to do the same as California very soon, seeing that 5,599 students and 316 employees in one of their public schools are in isolation because they have either tested positive for COVID-19 or are in quarantine because they have had close contact with a positive case. So Florida hospitals right now, they're saying that they are seeing an influx of young healthy adults across the state with many requiring oxygen and i don't know if you remember some time back that a florida governor ron DeSantis, has bar he had barred schools and other local governments from imposing mask mandates and the governor had said that he believed masks are not needed for children who are less likely than adults to catch the coronavirus and that they interfere with learning but just recently it was announced that the pfizer vaccine will be available to all persons 12 years and older right here in the Bahamas at the Kendall GL Isaac's gym starting Thursday and Friday. So the biggest question right now is, would you allow your child to get vaccinated? Right now, honestly, I can't. I know a lot of people don't know what to say. I know a lot of persons are not taking this too well, seeing that we don't even know as yet what all is in the vaccine. So moving on to further news, United States sprinter Shikari Richardson, she was denied the chance to compete in the Tokyo Olympics 2020 and put herself up against the best in the world earlier this year due to a failed drug test. But later this month, the Prefontaine Classic will offer her another opportunity to showcase her talent. So Shakira Richardson will go up against the Jamaican trio of the 100-meter medalists from Tokyo Olympics, the record holds and gold medalist Elaine thompson Hira headlines, as well as Shellyann Fraser and Sharika Jackson. Honestly, 
I think this race will be one for the books. And I'm super excited to see it, to see her go up against those three girls. Let's see if she was not disqualified, if, you know, if she would be able to beat them. But they are expecting this one to be very interesting to watch. Seeing that Shakari Richardson ran a time of 10.64 in the Olympic trial semifinals, which was only 0.03 off of Thompson Hewitt's Olympic record of 10.61. So it's very, very close. So let's see what she can do. I'm definitely excited to see that one. But that's it for Chat Trap. Just talking about what's hidden headlines today. Remind you that Chat Trap was brought to you by the Village Drug and Beauty Supply and Village Auto Parts. Have no fear. The Village Auto Parts is here. They have Costa Bus Parts, Clutch Disc, Starters, Alternators, Tail Lamps, Brake Rotors, American and Japanese Vehicle Parts. Only at the Village Hardware Store located at Alexandria Boulevard, Nassau Village. You can call them today and let the Village Auto Parts find that part for you. 601-4746, 601-4752, or WhatsApp at 525-9159. Jumping back to the mix right now, Erica Banks, Beat King, Toot That. 